my name is Lydia and I'm going to show you some of the steps and the most nifty ways to lay down a horse because since you're watching this video you're probably trying to figure out the best way to lay down your horse and I've been there and I've tried so many different methods there's like the people that you can't that the horses already know how to do it so they do it really easy and there's like people that are like you have to put 50 ropes on it and then just force lay them down you know this is the way so there's like there's some steps to do that I would recommend doing before you try to lay your horse down if you want like the less less trauma as possible. So the first thing you want to want to do is just make sure that your horse is calm with you. You don't want your horse to be scared if you, if you do something fast or you just don't you want your horse to be chill with you. So you want to make sure you can pet all over and go over by butt and you want to make sure you can go over out here and just make sure it's comfortable with you on both sides of its body and it's not going to try to kick you over here or by you um and then the other thing that you're going to want to make sure that your horse can do and that is comfortable with doing is picking up feet you want to make sure they don't have to be perfect at it but that is so they can do it and that they're not going to try and back up or bite you when you do it either so that's the two steps and then this is the other step you're going to want to make sure that they can do you want to make sure they can handle ropes good that they're not scared they're not super jumpy specifically like under, around yeah under the belly behind them really just make sure that they're solid on those three things and that is like the steps that you want to make sure you have down before you attempt laying down okay so before you teach them to lay down you're going to want to teach them to bow first it's really simple it's just a pressure release and so you want to get them to the point that they can bow for a long time and then before you work on laying down because they have to bow so they can lay down. So pick up on this blue rope, not blue rope, oh my god, hand rope on the thingy and then pull back. Okay, now you can release. That was a good enough bow. Now normally they won't do it that well. Normally they'll just like take a back, a step back and be like oh and then just release instantly. Even if it's like the smallest little try because I'm like oh if I just start backing up I get a release of pressure and then Keep doing that. Ugh. Maybe if I were like then give him like a break, walk around for a minute, and then you can just do it again. And then down. And then if you want to, you can slowly start holding it for like longer and longer periods of time to the point that he understands that he just has to bow. That's all he has to do. And then you can get into and you can get him to lay down after he bows and I can show you how the bowing will help with laying down. Okay, so I'm going to show you actually on the other side because you want to, when you're having them lay down, you want to make sure it's on their better side. You don't want it to be on their side that they're a little bit like, you know, you want them to be on the, the best side or like if they're good on both sides, whatever side that you prefer, that you prefer to do it on that side. So there's three different ways you can lay your horse down. The first way is the most frustrating way you can ever possibly do it. It is where you grab your horse, hey bud, and then you grab his hip, come here, and then what you do is you want to grab his rope and have him do it. But that's the thing. They fight you and then your head gets knocked and then they come out of your, and their hoof comes out and I was month that if I fight her on doing that then I just get away and that's not, not what you want your horse to learn. And also, he's only laid down three times, so I, he's not really done this that much. So, there's that way, and I know a lot of people like that, like that way because there's not that many ropes, it's not as forceful. But also for me, you get way more frustrated, way faster that way. So, the second way you can do it is, I don't know if I want to do it with him, but the second way you can do it is if you if he already kind of knows what you want him to do, but he's just being a butt about it, what you can do is grab the rope, and then like, Tie it to their hoof. Hi, bud. That's why I want to make sure that they're okay with you around their feet and they're not going to kick you. Do this and do this. And then what you want to do is like have the hoof pick up and then try and bow, lay them down like this. But then if they fight and they end up getting up, then their hoof is going to get stuck on their face and they're not going to be a happy horse. Like to do 
do it. So, the way I figured out that works the best, that tends to have the less amount of trauma in the horse, and also it's not as hard for you, it's not as frustrating, and you don't have to be right next to the horse's back feet when you do it, is this nifty way. You want the longer rope to go around his foot, right? Yeah. So then, because you, so then you can kind of stand back if somebody, when they start showing you, because they probably will, because they might not understand what you want to ask him to do. It's probably the best. Also, I forgot to mention this. The first thing before you take working on light it, lay, laying down instantly is working on bowing, because that kind of helps him to lay down. So that was that's gonna be something that you're gonna want to work on. So with this thing that. So when you start pulling back on his head, it won't go to the side, it'll go underneath him, which will throw him off easier, which will make it hopefully easier for him to lay down. Okay, this is a new horse, his name is Rose, <laughs> and he hasn't laid down in like two years. Oh no, not two years, like a year and a half. He hasn't. He it's has, been a while. He's, he's learned to lay down, but it's been a while, so we're going to see. So, how long working with him would I just let him lay down? Just until he gets up? Yeah. Okay. With the first couple of times, don't make him get up and then do it again and don't work him too much on it. Just let him lay down and then if you need to, you can leave. Sometimes the horse will sit down for like not that long. Sometimes they'll sit down for 30 minutes. It just depends. And then just give him like a... So when do you get to a point where it's okay to lift him up? Lift him up? After they do without too much fight and after they do without trying to like... So when they so, learn to just lay down when you ask? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I think it shouldn't be too hard. Also, once you get him to lay down without you having to ask, why are you He likes that. Between his legs. Once you kind of get him to do that, then you can do the more gentle method because they're not going to try and fight you on their fight. I'll try to pull their foot up as much. Also, all horses will react differently to laying down. Some horses will react great. Some horses will try and kill you. So. Don't give up hope. Don't be like, oh my gosh, my horse isn't laying down first try. Like, oh my goodness, no, it's okay. You will do good. Just to stick to it. Don't get angry at your horse. And then also, I don't have any horse right now that can lay down without ropes, but I have a video of my horse that I got grand champion with of him laying down without any ropes and it can just show you how you can get your horse to lay down without any of that. And they're a lot more willing, how they're great in the end.